There seemed to be something underneath this desert sand. But the two snipers didn't seem to know anything. A soldier stepped on a mine, and it then exploded. Seeing that, Mike was stunned and slowly moved forward on reflex. However, it looked like he also stepped on a mine. At this time, he was still obsessed by the sound of the explosion. After a while, he regained his hearing. And at this moment, he heard the pitiful cries of his comrade. But he couldn't walk over in order to save his comrade. He constantly encouraged his comrade. His comrade also endured the pain and injected himself with painkillers. However, if his comrade wasn't stopped bleeding in time, he would die. Mike decided to sacrifice one of his legs. In order that he could run over to help his comrade stop the bleeding. Hearing that, his comrade pulled out his gun. He didn't want Mike to become disabled. Try to stay alive, my friend. That was the camaraderie that people who had never served in the army couldn't feel. Mike shouted in despair. But he knew, he wasn't allowed to grieve at this time. After that, Mike regained his composure. He tried to adjust his foot position. He got down on one knee to reduce his body weight. He took out a knife and stuck it in the sand under his feet. He felt this was the sound of a piece of iron. It seemed that there was really a mine underneath his feet. At this moment, he didn't know that there was a black man behind him. This black man looked at him for a long time, and then left. The highest temperature in the desert at the moment could reach more than 45 degrees Celsius. The most dangerous thing was that ultraviolet rays were very strong. Mike looked around and suddenly noticed that there was a transmitter. That transmitter was about 3 meters away from him. He quickly untied his shoelaces and took out his military tool. And removed the strap on the gun. He tried to throw it many times, but but it didn't work. Finally, Mike got up and tried his best to throw over. His foot almost came off the mine. Fortunately, he finally got the backpack. He opened his backpack to take out the radio transmitter. Quickly put on the battery then selected the channel. After many difficulties, he finally contacted the commanding agency. He said his comrade passed away. And he was stepping on a mine. The GPS was also broken, he needed at this moment. However, the commanding agency said helicopters couldn't go there. Because that desert often had sandstorms. They could only drive to the reinforcements, but it would take 52 hours. But standing under ultraviolet rays and this 45 degrees Celsius weather, Mike couldn't know if he could stand it or not. The commanding agency also told him to dig a small hole, then tried jumping in there. However, the success rate was only 3%. After that, the signal of the device was suddenly interrupted. Mike opened the timer for 52 hours. He would try to endure. He ate the remaining beef jerky and drank water. Just took a few sips and the water also ran out. Then, suddenly there was a wind blowing the paper in his hand. Mike slowly turned around and was extremely surprised. There was a sandstorm that was slowly approaching. He hurriedly prepared everything to deal with the sandstorm. He put on his backpack and carried things to add weight. If his weight increased, he wouldn't be blown away. His rifle was dug deep into the sand to resist the sandstorm. Mike finally persevered through the sandstorm. He took a deep breath and was very happy because he didn't get blown away. The body of his comrade was also blown to him by the sandstorm. He looked down and he didn't see the transmitter. When he turned around, he found out. It was blown away by the sandstorm, so he couldn't contact the commanding agency. Meanwhile, it was about 3 to 4 meters away from him. He was in the desert for 8 hours without water. There were only a few drops of water in the bottle. Mike took out his gun to fire a few shots into the sky. Save me, save me he shouted. However, there was no one around. He wanted to kill himself with a gun. Because without water, he would definitely die. Unexpectedly, at this time, there was a person appearing in front of him. That person was slowly walking towards Mike. He was the native here. Mike wanted to ask him to pick up a radio transmitter for him. However, this aboriginal told him to take a step forward bravely. At this point, Mike got mad and shouted that there was a mine under his feet. You need to keep moving forward this aboriginal continued to say. Mike felt that this person really had a problem. Not long after, his face was sunburned and started to turn red. Because in order to survive, he had to drink his own urine. While drinking, suddenly a little girl came running from afar. She also had a strange walking pattern, and she was slowly running towards him. And the little girl was also holding a water bottle. It turned out that she was the daughter of that aboriginal. She came to bring him water. Mike was very touched and picked up the water bottle to drink continuously. He thanked her but she didn't understand. After that, she took out a toy soldier. Mike thought she wanted to play with him. So he also took out the toy soldier from his pocket. The little girl put the toy on the ground. Then she pushed a toy soldier down. It seemed that she wanted to tell Mike to step forward. And Mike asked her to get him a radio transmitter. But unexpectedly, she didn't care and ran away. Seeing her figure slowly disappearing, Mike was extremely desperate. 
At this time, there were still 38 hours left. He took out his phone from his pocket and started listening to music to relax. Not long after, it was getting dark. He took some small twigs to light a fire. Mike looked at the pictures on his phone and then missed his girlfriend a lot. He didn't want to die like that and he didn't want to be disabled either. He also wanted to get married with his girlfriend and started a new family. At night, the small fire had also gone out. And suddenly, there was a roar around him. It turned out to be wild dogs in the desert. He hastily opened fire to try to drive them away. But when turning around, he saw the body of his comrade being taken away by the wild dog. And in front of him, there was a wild dog walking towards. Because running out of ammo, he took out his pistol to shoot. He finally drove the dogs away. He succeeded in getting through the night. As soon as it was morning, that aboriginal appeared in front of him again. He continued to ask the aboriginal to help him get the transmitter. But the aboriginal asked why Mike didn't take a step forward. After that, he even gave Mike a friendly smile. Eventually, he still helped Mike get the radio transmitter. Then he walked over to Mike and patted him on the shoulder. He almost made Mike fall down. Mike hastily used the transmitter to contact with the commanding agency. However, there was no signal. And the aboriginal was about to walk away, but suddenly turned around. You need to move forward. The wrong path can also bring you home. But at this moment, Mike was hallucinating. It seemed that he saw his dead comrade saying that he had to survive. By midday, the sun was more intense. He cut the shoes with a knife and took off his socks. His whole feet turned red. Mike then frowned, obviously a little smelly. His thoughts were so confused at this moment. Mike hadn't eaten in 24 hours. He found a scorpion, but it was poisonous. He continued to drink his own urine. Although it was really horrible, he still tried to drink. His face was almost completely sunburned. And he hallucinated more and more seriously. He always heard his comrade's voice beside him. His mental state seemed to have collapsed. He even saw his comrade get up from the ground. Not long after, the night came again. At this time, he had put all his hopes on the reinforcements. He looked at his phone and remembered his girlfriend. After that, wild dogs continued to appear in front of him. There was a dog gnawing at his leg in the back. Meanwhile, two other dogs bit him on the arm. While in a coma, he saw him fighting with the enemy. But fortunately, Mike finally killed all the wild dogs with small knife. At this moment, he didn't have the strength to endure it anymore. The radio transmitter suddenly rang. He quickly grabbed it and shouted. But because of the war, the reinforcements couldn't get out. It was estimated that it would take another 17 hours to reach the desert. Mike was completely depressed. He seemed to see his girlfriend in front of his eyes. Just when he was about to fall, that aboriginal came to help him. He helped Mike bandage the wound. The aboriginal said his leg was also lost due to a mine explosion. And he had to use wooden stakes to make prosthetic legs. However, Mike would have to see more hallucinations. The aboriginal said their job was to collect mines. His two sons both died from mine explosions. Before he left, he said Mike was a free man. Mike had to bravely take a step forward. Only when he overcame his fear could he have hope. When the aboriginal just left, Mike immediately had a stronger hallucination. He saw his father violently beating his mother when he was young. He wanted to stop it, but he stepped on a mine. After that, he saw his girlfriend being teased by the bad guy. He wanted to stop it, but he continued to step on a mine. He saw his mother lying alone in the hospital. He wanted to visit his mother, but he stepped on a mine again. Then he thought about his life. In every important moment of his life, he stepped on a mine. At this moment, the transmitter finally rang. The rescue team had arrived. However, the rescue team couldn't find him, because the desert was too large. Mike was completely desperate. Because the signal bullet was about 3M away from him. Although it was only 3 meters, it seemed like half of the earth to him. He started thinking about the past, it was all because of him. A lot of sad things happened just because he didn't have the courage to take a step forward. Finally, he turned around to look. You have to keep moving forward he told himself. Then he closed his eyes and took a step forward. Luckily, there was no mine explosion. At this point, Mike was so scared that he fell to the ground. What's going on he said. After that, he dug up and found it was just a small can, just a discarded can. He opened the can lid and saw a toy soldier inside. He was extremely disappointed in himself and fell on the sand. He suffered for so long just because of a can. Then he burst out laughing uncontrollably. Finally, he fired the signal bullet. After that, Mike returned to the country and officially discharged. And his girlfriend was always faithfully waiting for him. Sometimes we always stop at the important moments. And if we don't have the courage to walk, we'll probably regret it for our lives. Keep moving forward if we have dreams and ideals. Just like Mike, in the vast desert, if he stepped on a real mine, he would surely die. But if he was scared, 
he would probably lose everything. But when he bravely stepped up, the success finally came to him. Thanks for watching. See you on the next movies.